Hello everyone, Google released official Android Q GSI for project table compatible device. So Google has just dropped the second Android Q beta for all three generations of Google Pixel smartphone but they are released system images that will allow for any project table compatible smartphone to place Android Q. Yes, Google has finally released generic system image GSI of the latest Android version. That means non-Pixel smartphone now can test the latest Android version too. So if you have a device that launch with Android Pie is out of the box and if you have every partition scheme you can install this GSI via fast boot method. Let's take information about this GSI. So this GSI has launched with date of 1st April 2009 and the build type is experimental so you will expect many bugs and the security patch level is 4 April 2019 and google play service version is 16.0.88 so if you want to install this android qgc on your device you will need this kind of requirement your device must be launched with android 9 pi and is travel complement and you have unlock bottle so you can flash the system and the vb meta images on your device via fast boot method but you don't have to worry if you have another device which not launched with android pi or not official supported treble if you have any kind of unofficial treble supported you can also install this qgsi on your phone because the developer named irfano habdi did the great job by porting android qgsi to the all the treble devices so great thanks to him because he ported this qgsi and he's also ported the android preview images for all the travel devices so you can donate him i will give his donation link on the description if you want to install this qgsi on your a b or a only partition device you can install this you have to download this qgsi from the link in the description that i will give you and you can install that gsi if you don't know how to install i will show you how to install this gsi on a only devices so if you want to install on AB partition device you just have to flash system image and you just have to flash the permissor but if you have a only device i will show you how to install it and it on a only device so i have redmi 5 plus which is a only so first of all you have to download the android qgsi which is for a only and a, a fix and a permissor v2 so i have downloaded all the files requirements needed for installing android qgsi on and if you have unofficially treble supported you have to download any pyrom for your device or any oreo rom so i have downloaded oreo and bo pi both roms so i'm going to install a pyrom first so let's go into the recovery so i am now in the recovery mode so just wait for the recovery to come as you can see my logo has been came and also you need a bootloader unlock in order to install this qgsi so now my twrp treble recovery has been came now you just have to go into the wipe and you have to wipe all the partitions like wipe cache data system and vendor and just wipe from left to right to wipe all the things now just go to the install and install a pi vendor it means spy rom for your device so i have been using xenon rom for my device xenon sd rom for redmi 5 plus so you have to go to that folder to install that so here is xenon sd so let's just install this rom and wait for the installation complete as i will skip that step so as you can see xenon sd rom now been installed now just go to the install and you have to select select the android qgsi for the a only so first if you download it you have to extract and you have to get the android qgsi and now just select and flash it as a system image so it installed now just go to the mount and mount the system and vendor both partition need to be mounted now just go to the install and select the permissive v2 and the fix zyzote page i don't know what name is what the name of that page and now just wait for the page to install and after page has been installed just reboot your device so, your, so after that your device will boot up in the android queue 
so as you can see i have reboot my system now just wait and see what happens so as you can see android logo has been came as you can see i just fast forward the step and the process so as you can see android qgs has been now booted and this is the my notification toggle, toggle as you can see it's just square icon also are square and as you can see gaps are pre-installed so you don't need to install but you as you can see that reel has been broken so no network for android qg say on the rmp plus maybe in your device it's working i don't know just try different vendor if you want to see less or more bugs so as you can see android version is q but the easter egg is still android pi so google will upload update on to the next updates maybe so as you can see this is the setting all the icons are now scare and as you can see this is the privacy option which are given in the android qgsa only i mean android q roms for all the pixel devices and the android qgsa for all the treble devices so this is the android qgsa will be more the privacy so as you can see it's showing the finishing update notification as you can see there is a lock screen there will be a big lock icon at the bottom and the center of the lock screen so the fingerprint is also working on this room as i tested so the lock screen has been fixed by irfan or google i don't know who fixed it as you can see fingerprint is also working so as i registered my finger i just tap on the back it will unlock so no problem on the fingerprint so this is the recent application as you can see these are all the application like gaps pre-installed you don't need to install externally there's the notification panel as you can see you can edit it by adding more icons like location hotspot and night mode night mode is also working as i tried mode is also working so that was for the video if you enjoying this video please like the video and if you are new here please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and stay tuned with my channel for the latest videos from my side and thanks for watching video